Hey everybody, so 19 hours ago, we got a balance update preview. I had no fucking idea about this yesterday, um, but uh, yeah, I guess we got one. I, I I just, I saw it this morning. I thought this was a this morning thing until I, I just saw this just now. I was like, what the fuck? This was posted yesterday? Um, but anyway, I mean, I don't think it was. There's no fucking way this was. I mean, that was like the first post on Reddit that I saw. I don't know, whatever. Um... There's uh, a decent amount of, like, small changes in here. This is not a big update by any stretch of the imagination. Um, as we've seen before, you know, it's not reasonable, you know, with this team at least, to expect uh, big balance updates every three months. It seems to be more along the lines of every six months, um, you know, that every other balance patch that we get some really sizable changes. Um, but there are a decent amount of changes in here. Some people, some classes got uh, noticeably less than others. Um, you know, you could see Necromancer only had one fucking thing, which is insane. Um, but, uh, Ranger, this was the big one that I was really excited about. So, they did actually, uh, nerf a couple of things, surprisingly, um, on, uh, the carry, or the Devourer. Um, so they, Sundering Volley, I kind of forget what, I, I don't know, I, I never really use the Devourers because they're ranged pets. I know they're technically the best pet to use, right? But I just don't really use them because, well, I don't know. I, I don't like ranged pets. I, I like the pet to go into melee and then tank shit and draw aggro. And I just think it's a lot cooler to have a pet with me, meleeing with me. Um, so, yeah, I typically use, like, the Aether Shark or, and, uh, and Iboga. Um, but, uh, yeah, they did they did also kind of buff Let Loose a little bit. Gives you some might. Pretty cool. Not, not that insane. But um, the big thing is the Ranger Greatsword. Absolutely huge buff here this is really fucking nice this is an amazing change um that i'm really really excited about there are actual game changing things here with the great sword um which is really really awesome so slice is the second auto attack chain uh the second attack of the auto attack chain and that is getting a uh you know decent increase from 0.8 to 1.0 power coefficient um as to like what the power coefficient shit is, I really I, I I have some semblance of an idea. I know how to like kind of calculate it, but I don't really. I'm not gonna fucking do it for this man. Uh, this comes out in a couple, I mean, like three weeks, so who fucking cares? Uh, Enduring Swing is the third auto attack. This one already hit pretty hard. Uh, it's getting uh, a, a slight buff there as well from 1.4 to 1.6. Uh, Maul is getting a nice buff. Maul already does a lot of damage, just like as like an upfront hit. Um, but it is getting a buff up to 2.0 from 1.75 for the power coefficient, which is really nice. Now, this is the big one that I was, like, really shocked to see. And um, Swoop is now going to be part of the rotation for Greatsword, which is so weird. Not sure how I feel about it, um, because considering it's a gap closer, I, I just, I really liked how simple Greatsword was before. Um, so adding in an extra button to use, to me, is just kind of like, eh, you know, but... Um, yeah, Swoop is getting a huge, massive buff over double damage as far as I could tell here. 1.0 to 2.18, which is absolutely insane. Um, Counterattack Kick is also getting a massive buff. So this is the thing with this one, though. You have to block an attack first to be able to use the Counterattack Hit with the 4, the four ability. Um, but it is getting a, a massive buff from 1.3 to 2.25. So it, it will be a absolutely worth using. Um, this was already a phenomenal skill, being able to just block on command like that. Especially for the, the amount of time that you can with the Greatsword. It, it seriously has been so amazing for me. I, I love the, the, the counterattack on that on that uh, weapon. But the kick being a massive buff is a nice bonus to that kind of aspect of the Greatsword as well. Hilt Bash, a fucking massive buff on this thing. So previously, Hilt Bash was supposed to be, um, you know, this daze slash stun, depending on where you hit the enemy. But the big thing with Hilt Bash is that it resets the cooldown on your Maul. Now, Maul already has a ridiculously short cooldown with uh, whenever you use the two-handed training on Beast Mastery, which is usually what I use. And um, it, you know, I think it's like a little under three seconds. It's like two and a half seconds for a cooldown. It's fucking insane. But being able to do, you know, Maul, Hilt Bash, then Maul again is a really high damage, uh, high burst damage combo that is just going to be even better now, um, considering both of those skills are getting buffed. Hilt Bash, I mean, like I said, massive buff here. It didn't do very much damage before, so I imagine... It's still not going to do a whole lot of damage, but like I said, the purpose of it was to refresh 
Maul. It was never supposed to be this damaging thing, but it is now. Um, so I will take it. And um, whew, yeah, I think yeah, that's it for the uh, the great sword. Uh, a lot of buffs here. I think they buffed basically every single skill besides the very first auto attack. Um, so yeah, very very excited about this. Uh, great sword. Pretty much as long as I've been playing. At least since End of Dragons came out. I would say that. Since End of Dragons came out, um, Greatsword has been underperforming a good amount. It was never something I really used for instance PvE content. I did use it. I use it all the time in open world because it's a fantastic open world weapon. Um, it offers so much uh, you know, versatility in its, in its kit. But um, yeah, really awesome thing here, man. Really, really excited. I love Greatsword to death on the Rangers. One of my favorite weapons in the entire game. I absolutely adore it. So seeing it get buffed, you know, obviously puts a big smile on my face and gives me kind of a semi-chub. So, um, yeah. Wait, what?